So um, I'm being asked to rank my three favorite of my 35 novels. Yeah, 35 novels. I've been writing approximately one a year, so I guess I started when I was seven. That's a joke. Um, my favorite novel that I've ever written is I Will Find You, the latest. Why do I say that? Okay, first of all, it's self-serving, right? This is the new book out I'm promoting. So this, that's always the self-serving answer. But there is some truth in that. Um, the one that I'm currently working on or the one that's closest to me is usually the one I like best. Because you know how when you look back on your old self and the mistakes you made, you kind of like, oh, what did that kid know? Like the example I always use is remember that essay you wrote when you were in college or high school and you thought it was brilliant? And now you find it now and you read it and go, whew, this is terrible. What was I thinking? It's a little bit the same way with old books, where when I look back at an old book, and I have to do that a lot of times when we're adapting them for the Netflix shows or whatever, I always start seeing all the scenes, and I say, oh, can I have that over again? So I usually will say my favorite um, is the most current. As for second and third, you know, they are like my children in a sense, each book. They each drive me nuts in their own unique way. Um, but I had to, it would be too hard to pick a Myron Bolitar. I don't know, maybe, maybe Fade Away and Early Myron Bolitar. Most people answer Tell No One, which was my first um, New York Times bestseller. I know it's dear to a lot of people. I'm not sure that's particularly my favorite. So I'm going to bow out of, of two and three and just go with the self-serving answer of I Will Find You.